Hey hey, once again I'm back here in Age of Conan and uh, today I wanted to explore a little bit uh, about um, the armor penetration uh, stat and uh, see how it uh, works out primarily in PvE but we will also use it uh, in PvP to see if there are any differences between the different playstyles. So I brought two of my guardians here and uh, really the point here now will be that we will start by just punching this other guy and we will see that we get a consistent 54 damage uh, that we get the consistent damage is important since we will use that as a measurement for how we are doing. So if I switch over now to my other guard and take off his bracers, there we go. That's about 600 armor removed from him. So let's see what. Oh, here we will see now. We get pretty consistent. Fifty-five damage, one more damage. I like to work with small numbers since that makes it easier to see the effects. So by removing six hundred armor from the target, you do one more damage with the. Punches here. Then we have the let's see, just putting back on the van braces, and now we are going to put some points in armor penetration. There we go, 600 T10 armor penetration, save changes. Now let's see for our test here. With the bomb bracer on, we are now doing actually 56 damage. So um, that was actually a little bit surprising, um, but we can see that uh, it has an effect, and that effect is lowering the armor of the target. Now I didn't get exactly the same numbers. If we look at the van bracers, that is if I go to my guild here and do the calculations four hundred and forty eight armor plus the armor gained from the strength. Okay, that may be the case. Um, the van bracers are only reducing the taking them off reduces the armor by five hundred and seventy-eight. So is pretty consistent uh, then uh, it just goes up to 56 damage with the uh, armor penetration because of uh, the difference between the reductions in armor so that is consistent so in part two of my experiment here I'm going to see what the effects of armor penetration is on the straw man the strawman is said to have very little mitigation, so it will be interesting to see what we can learn here. So, hitting the strawman, pretty consistent, 90 damage. Yep, yeah. let us again feed for the precise attack 
same amount of armor um, no difference which were really not expected as the strawman is said to have very little mitigation but it shows that uh, it's not a flat increase to your damage it actually reduces the armor of your target so over to a more active test for the third and maybe the most important part of the tests here I have come to uh, Atzel's in an epic version of the instance and uh, what I want to do here is find some uh, lone mobs to see what numbers I can get um, for hitting them with uh, out the uh, armor penetration and with it so first of all let me see I don't want too many mobs to fight with at the same time here so we start with uh, that guy now we also have the problem of the shielding so there we have three shields on the right side and I will continue to hit on the right side so it all will be fully shielded hits and this looks pretty good we get consistently 40 damage on this mob so here we have our chill crawler and it will be interesting to see how so how something we would assume is unarmored but maybe with um, a level of mitigation anyways does it this test as you can see here 36 damage on the shield crawler so let us go in and put on our precise attacks for the penetration save the changes and do some more hitting and would you look at that we did have 46 now we have 47 so we know it works on monster type uh, mobs Let's see if we can find that uh, other guy here. Still have his shields on the right side. And before we had 40 damage. Now it's 41. So, that pretty much proves it, I think. Um, armor penetration has its uses in PvE as well as PvP. Um, even with the low numbers we were working with here, um, we could see it was consistent and both it, uh, both on monster type mobs and human type mobs it uh, does have an effect uh, how useful it is that needs probably more testing on each class and each ab ability but uh, at least now we know that it's not only for pvp so thank you for watching